Okay, as you know, our windlass is now beep. All the oil came out of the gearbox. We kept running it, oblivious to the fact that it dumped all its oil. Tried not to use it again after that. When we first opened it up, it was dry and all of the, there was just bronze all through this. So it's just totally mangled. I've decided to go with Maxwell, a New Zealand company. Look at all these New Zealand brands we're supporting now. Solid. So this, with our Chromox chain and our Ultra Anchor all being stainless steel, it is gonna be the most beautiful setup you've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Look at that thing. This thing is beautiful. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> that is Need sunglasses really to look neat. at this man. Oh, it's like the Stanley Cup. Oh, cool. It's got a little um, sight glass here for oil. If we had a sight glass here that we could just glance at every now and then, you'd see how much oil was in it. So this is 1200 watts. Our existing one is 1700 watts. So this is quite a lot smaller, but they've guaranteed that it'll perform even better than the quick one. So that'd be awesome if we get that power saving as well. So this is a chain counter and a up down controller. So what an absolute upgrade this is gonna be. All right, let's get this guy off. Okay, gonna just uh, mark up the template for the new windlass. And then, because it's really hard, well, it's basically impossible to drill a hole where there's already an existing big hole. So I just found this block lying on the ground. I'm just gonna tap that in there. So that's where we want the hole. Okay, now I'm going to install the sensor. So we've got a chain counter with this. Um, so every revolution, it knows the length of chain that let out and it therefore tells us how much scope we have. Okay, that's where it's going to go. And I'm also going to epoxy the uh, wood that we've just cut out of here because we, uh, yeah, just exposed the plywood. So I'm just going to use this, this uh, two-part total boat um, epoxy stuff that we've got so easy you just squirt it out mix them together and then that's your two-part epoxy done it literally dries in like five minutes so let's bolt the base down there's our sensor there maybe like there how's that sweet Okay, got the chain through. Okay, I just want to check the um, the emergency operation of it. So if the motor dies, you can do it by hand. So I think you just have to take this off. If we take that out. There you go. That's so cool. They have thought about everything there. Bolt the motor on next. Oh, 